police, the Minister of Police and asks, what are the police doing to help ensure that victims of crime get the support they need as soon as possible? The Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm very pleased to report that today I opened a new national contact centre for victim support that has been set up at Police National Headquarters here in Wellington. The contact centre will enable victim support to provide a consistent, timely and professional response to calls for help from across the country. Police have a very close relationship with victim support and they are delighted to provide them with the office space and a communication system for the contact centre. The police also now have a dedicated National Victim Service Manager who will be overseeing further initiatives to support victims of crime. The 0800 number, Mr Speaker, for this is 0800 VICTIM. John Hayes. Mr Speaker, what are the, to the Minister of Police, what are the latest results on how well the police are meeting the expectations of victims of crime and the wider community? Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, the latest six-monthly citizen satisfaction survey shows that the public continues to have a high level of trust and confidence in the police. I'm also very pleased to see that the involvement of police in their communities has increased significantly since June 2008. Community involvement by police is now recording at a rate of 67% compared with 58% under the previous government. I would like to commend police for the great work that they are doing in communities throughout New Zealand. I'm very pr proud to say that our police are amongst the finest in the world. Supplementary, Mr. Speaker. David Garrett. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister. Does she support my member's bill, which would remove the heavy restrictions on what a victim of crime may say in their victim impact statement uh, and allow anything as long as it is true and not defamatory? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr um, Speaker, I actually haven't read the bill and I'm happy to meet with the member to discuss it, but of course these matters um, will need to be looked at uh, fully because I certainly haven't read it yet. Question. I oh, beg your pardon, Tilda Royal Flavel. Hail Māori, Mr Speaker. Uh, ki te, ki te minita, e hia uh, te ōrau o ngā hua, ko riro hia I raro i te Proceeds of Crime Act e tukuna ki te tautoko i te hunga ko tūki notia. The Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, it's not possible for me to give an exact figure on that because as the uh, Proceeds of Crimes money becomes available, it goes into the consolidated account. But uh, I am aware that uh, right across many portfolios work is going on and looking at what can be done for victims. Te Honourable The Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, the, uh, well, for a start, this government has retained uh, the Serious Fraud Office, which was actually uh, scheduled for closure under the previous government, and that is uh, something I think should give quite a lot of comfort to people that uh, we have kept that. And I'm also aware that my colleague, the Minister of Justice and Minister of Commerce, has been working uh, very extensively in this area. Obviously, um, it's very important to do whatever we can, but at the same time, um, there's an awful lot better than what the previous government did. Question of oh, point of order, the Honourable Trevor. And, and I apologise for the delay, Mr Speaker, because I... I order. A point of order's been called. I thought I'd heard what was being said, and, and now I've confirmed what was being said. When, when I was asking a supplementary question, there was an interjection from a member uh, at the back suggesting that I and other, I think I and other Labour members should move to Australia. Sir, I think that's not appropriate and not an appropriate approach to people who are questioning the government, uh, unless, of course, it is general advice for all New Zealanders from Mr Quinn. Order. 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 I'm not sure the member was really serious about that as a point of order because I've heard that honourable me member throw far worse interjections across the House than uh, an interject interjection suggesting you should go to Australia, I'm afraid. I don't see that as being a serious point of order. Uh, question number six, the Honourable Darren 